In this video, we're going to look at similar shapes. You should already know the difference between similar and congruent, but if you've forgotten, you may want to watch this video first. Similar shapes are the exact same shape, but maybe different sizes. Like a photocopier can increase the size of a page from A5 to A3. Knowing that shapes are similar can make calculating lengths and angles much easier. Because similar shapes are just enlargements of one another, the corresponding angles are equal and the lines are in proportion. DEF is an enlargement of ABC. We can easily see that the scale factor is 2. To get the scale factor, we divide the larger length by its corresponding smaller length. What is the scale factor for these similar shapes? Pause the video and work them out. Did you get them right? Make sure that you select the corresponding sides. The question has told us that the triangles are similar, even though they look different. The one on the right has been rotated, reflected and enlarged. So back to the question. The corresponding sides are the 3 cm and the 4.5 cm. And the 4 cm corresponds to the 6 cm. Find the scale factor. So the bigger divided by the smaller. So the triangle on the right is one and a half times bigger than the other one. So five centimeters here means the corresponding length is five multiplied by 1.5, which is 7.5 centimeters. What if we're given this bigger length and are missing a smaller length? Just divide. Find the scale factor first, then 6 divided by 1.5 will give us a smaller length of 4 centimetres. So to find a bigger length, multiply by the scale factor. And to find a smaller length, divide by the scale factor. Here's a question for you to do. Pause the video, find X, Y and Z and click play when you're ready. Did you get them right? The shapes have been rotated and reflected, so take your time to work out which sides correspond. There is just one different type of question that we need to be aware of. Triangles ABC and CDE are similar because sides AB and DE are parallel and the angles at C are equal. Lengths AC and CE correspond and the lengths BC and CD correspond. So as always, start with the scale factor. Triangle CDE is the bigger triangle. So to find length X, multiply 22 by 1.5. Here are two questions for you to do. For the first one, treat them as two separate triangles, a smaller one and a bigger one. Pause the video, work them out and click play when you're ready. How did you get on? So there we have calculating with similar shapes. Always start by finding the scale factor, so divide the bigger side by its corresponding smaller side. We then multiply to find a missing bigger side or we divide to find a missing smaller side. Please like and share our videos with your friends. If you have any questions that you want help with, just comment below.